by San Francisco State men's basketball head coach Vincent Glima, and on his right, Jonah Roth. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's game, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought early we had a lot of opportunities. Um, I don't think Cal State LA was playing their best in, in the first 15 minutes of the game. I think we also didn't play particularly well. I uh, couldn't take advantage of that and uh, you know, played really sloppy with the ball and kind of fed into their transition baskets, for, which was going to be a big aspect of what we were trying to do. And, um, but you know, we scrapped and fought and kept it close. Uh, and then you know, in the second half, they found a rhythm, uh, and we just uh, we couldn't really uh, find it ourselves. And uh, you know, credit to them. Uh, Jimmy's got a great team. Uh, there's a reason they're number two in the region right now. Um, you know, disappointed we didn't have our best showing and didn't show our best opportunity because I think we can compete with them. Uh, but you know, today wasn't the day. So, how would you explain the upper hand that Cal State had, and what was kind of giving you ideas for pressure? Yeah, they, you know, they're they really pressure the ball. I mean, they're the leading scoring team in the league, uh, and they do most of that damage on getting a lot of ball pressure and forcing turnovers. Uh, when we beat them at our place, we didn't turn the ball over. And we took care of it, and we broke that pressure, and then we were able to get a lot of good opportunities in the half court, uh, which, um, you know, we, we just, you know, we had a five-minute segment where we turned it over five or six times against the press, and it really fed into what they were doing. When we could get it across half court, we did a great job of getting inside. They got a lot, they got all their guys in foul trouble, which is what we were trying to do, and so that part of it was great. We just couldn't get the ball to that point uh, enough to we got a question for you, Jimmy. Uh, Vince, you've been with the program since 2013-14. Uh, you guys have made seven trips to the CCA tournament now. Uh, talk about what that's looked like in the you know these last couple of years with Jim Robinson. Yeah, you know um, we've yeah we're we're happy that we're here. Um, a lot half the league does not make it here. This is an incredibly challenging conference with great teams top to bottom. Um, so uh, that's a credit to, to our, our guys and how hard they work and compete you know, day in and day out. Uh, and it's a credit to the leadership of, of guys like Jonah. Uh, you know, we, we really emphasize getting the right people. Uh, we, we value quality people and quality basketball players. Uh, nobody exemplifies that uh, more than Jonah, who is a great player, a great student. Uh, he's also a great drummer. Uh, and just a great person and teammate and friend and and, um, and you know those are all the core values of our program and um, and it, it's young men like him that make this job fun and enjoyable and watching him grow as a player and as a man. And Jonah, obviously, congratulations on another LCC awesome <laughs> honor. Uh, talk about your time in a Gators uniform. Yeah, I mean. Coach Vincent Lima, he recruited me out of high school a little bit, so I kind of had a relationship with him um, going back, you know, four, five, six years at this point. Um, and I went the junior college route, um, but I'm just so so grateful that I ended up being SF that, you know, was my home for these last two years because, you know, I really don't have, like, anything negative to say, whether it's the program, the coaches, um, my teammates, and... Um, yeah, everyone else really made my time here what it was and was able to support me, like you said, into, you know, getting all CCA honors and, um, yeah, getting to the tournament two times. So I'm just really thankful and really, yeah, just grateful for everything that was able to come out of my career. So, thank you. One last question for you, Coach. Before the game, there was an opportunity to have Alex Gillard. Um, honored as the CCA Elite 13 Award winner, the, the CCA student athlete that had the top GPA at the championships. Could you tell us what that means and how, how kind of cool of an honor that was, Ralph? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, I mean, again, we, we take a lot of pride in being successful in the classroom as well. And Alex is a superstar. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's got, he's got a 4.0, right? Uh, and, and he just, you know, he, he's a tremendous hard worker on the court, tremendous hard worker in the classroom. Uh, you know, and, and as far as being a student athlete, right, he, he balances that really well. Uh, you know, sometimes you get guys who are super into school and not really into basketball, and sometimes you get guys who are super into basketball and not really into school, and he really pours himself into to both. 
Uh, so it's great to see him get that recognition because it's well deserved. Well, thank you very much and good luck. Hope to see you back again here next year. Thank you. Bye.